Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are back here at the Trastamara Estate, where we did just receive, we retrieve Marlena's, um, Marlena's dowry, which, which, uh, composed of some gold and a trophy, a stick of joy, I think it was called, which is nice, I guess. So I'll quickly pop back to Corpo Bianco, um, wherever that may be, over there. We'll put the trophy nice and snug in our estate, and then we'll, we shall go and continue our questing because we need to go. We need to go to the pheasantry, don't we, to check on what the deal with that spoon key is. That's not our house. That's the stable. As much as I, as much as I would would like to go and say go and say hello to Roach, I don't need to go and say hello to Roach. Okay, and just in here. Gold like a joy. There we go. Lovely. Right. Armor stand here as well. Right. Might as well put armor on the stands, I guess. There you go. Perfect. It's not particularly glamorous armor, but armor, but uh, armor is armor. At the end of the day, right? So ask the owner of the pheasantry about the mysterious spoon. That we can probably do. Shall fast travel back to Buckler. Did not mean to whistle Roach there. The Grand Palace. The guard brings peace to our domains. Flogged a trick and brought in chains. A hooded woman. Oh, that's bad luck. Oh. Do not. Li I do not like the idea of a of a hooded woman wandering around uh, wandering around the place like that. Because every hooded woman that we've encountered so far. It's been bad news. I won't go. I simply won't. Okay. I think we've taken the long way around here, but that's fine. Did you Up down here. Our sweet shining sun. In keep. Welcome to the pheasant tree. Ever seen a spoon like this? Spoon like this. When you set a place, where's it go? My, oh my. It seems rather a fanciful bouillon spoon. Or a key of some sort. There's a note here. Yeah, note led me here. Any idea what the key might open? Never seen it before. But you might search the cellars. The previous owner left all sorts of knickknacks there. Okay, thanks, that'll do. See you later. Search the pheasantry's cellars. Let's see what we got. I just, I'll just, I will just steal all your food while I'm here, just because you know it, it's it's hard work fucking around in cellars. Dear Pope Bokrewar, uh, wake up! You are being you are being dealt in the derriere by a ruling elite which plays you like fiddles in broad daylight. They have conspired to deprive you of the rightful heir to your throne. It is the Duke's eldest daughter who should take part after his death, yet he has fed you far-fetched tales about some curse and forced anew his younger daughter. Do not stand idle, do not tarry. All those who will not allow such treatment of themselves and their fellow subjects, let them be at the ready. The rightful heiress to the throne might return any moment, and then and then she shall need your need our support, a concerned subject. Right. Got you. Kind of. Ah, Smeagol... Smeagol Circus's uh, cookbook. Book contains hundreds of recipes, but instead of the recipe for uh, Buckler or Rabbit on the last page, there are only a few chaotically written lines. Leviola's weeping wounds. I've scoured dozens of elven manuscripts at last and I've found it. I've, I now know what the spoon key I purchased at auction unlocks. It is nothing else but the key to the legendary studio of Ramsay's Gorthon, the elven priest of the goddess uh, Dan um, Danamembi. 
uh, sorry, Dan and Mebby, whose culinary masterpieces remain unmatched by even the best of our modern chefs. If I can find the ruins of this temple, said to be somewhere in the Buckler Forest, I shall find all of his legendary recipes. Not to mention the other other priceless treasures this Grand Master Chef must have kept in the kitchen where he perfected his art. Rest of the rest of the page is covered with a large greasy stain. Nice. So we to find Gawthorn's studio and look for the treasure. Okay. The treasure which which might might well be a bunch of cooking recipes, apparently. I guess. I guess that's nice. Okay, we will take the Nilf Guardian Embassy travel point. Which I think is just here. Yep, and we shall go to the forest, which is just northeast of Basan, the Basan farm. And we get Roach, and we shall ride to said farm. We're sorry, not not said farm. We shall ride away from said farm, and we shall go and grab this treasure. I guess. I think we just one shot, uh, one shot at that. But I guess it's beautiful. I could listen to that music for hours. By the way, guys, like genuinely, it's um, it's incredible. Right. So this is this is um, Mr. Gawthorn's studio. Presumably, it's not the cave, but it's up here. I think, anyway. Is it? Maybe it's not. Maybe it might actually be the cave. Yeah, to be fair, it might actually be the cave after all this time. Let's not let's not fall to our death, whatever we do. We're dumb, but we're not that dumb. So is it in here? I think it might well be. There we go, we got it. Recipe for Etoile Blanche Pasta, Honey Spice Cake Recipe, Crayfish Ball Recipe, and a load of nice uh, materials. Yep, yeah, it is literally just a set of a set of recipes. Beautiful. Tons of uh, alchemical ingredients and cooking ingredients as well as as one would expect. Nice. I don't suppose he'll be actually ne he'll be actually needing those recipes anymore, so it's fine. Oh, uh, I think we've just um, I think we've just offended the 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 ancient elves by by doing this. So right. And we shall never speak of this looting ever again. Okay, so now, now we shall carry on. So let's actually go back to the um, back to the main quest line for for the time being. So we have to find the boot black who appeared in the vision with uh, Detlaf. So we'll go back to the uh, Basan, Basan farm, and we shall travel back to Buclair. Go. go. Let's go, go, go. It, like... Geralt, Geralt seemed to say that this boot black looked like he knew Detlaf, but I don't, I don't think he did. Faster. It, like, it didn't, it didn't appear to, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, it, it didn't appear to me as if the boot black and Detlaf knew each other, like, it just seemed to be a... 
matter of Delap just came to get his boots, his, 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 his boots shined. But who knows? Maybe Geralt's more uh, more observational than I. I don't know. We shall find out though. We shall go to Buckler and see what the boot black can actually tell us. Hopefully, it is advantageous to our search. Aha! I can see the place. The blacks don't usually work nights. Need to come back during the day. It's it is day. To, well, it's it's not day time. Let's be honest. I guess we only have to meditate a few hours. Hmm. What's that? That's oh, just an old pamphlet. Just, just meditate three hours, maybe. This seems better. Here we go. So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks who are dirty in their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Uh-oh. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? Um... Just be honest, Sarah a witcher. A witcher. And I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like, after we tan his hide. So stand down. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well, which is all the same to me. Fair enough. You asked for it. Whoa. Whoa. Just actually took two swallow portions. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Right. Everyone, everyone settled down now, yeah? What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast <laughs> on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Nothing had a misunderstanding. Nothing really. Had a little misunderstanding. Figured it out though. Uh-huh. I see. As the Duchess's protege, you may go. But this lot, that's another matter. You'll come with us. Some time in a cell ought to scare the dimwits out of you. Well, I tried to be I tried to be diplomatic with, with with them and spare them from that, but didn't work clearly. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. A duo, what do you mean? Yeah. How you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while you stand guard, and as you're the stronger, come morning you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true. Ah. They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow. So, what say you, sir? Partners? Don't really have think about it. Time for that one. Need to ask you about that laugh. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they've just come off my stamped. A seat, sir, please. Fair enough. Ever consider washing your face, by the way, boy? So then... What was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm, indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. This boy, honestly. Let's say... 
500 crowns. 500 what? crowns? You gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box too. New polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. <laughs> Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. Right, I'm not about to pay you. No way. Not about to contribute to your shady venture. You'll tell me what you know for free. Be yes, be able to do to a child, but as you wish, sir. 500 I is know ridiculous. The you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No, but you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean boots, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, oh Regis. Feeling better? I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I have the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Oh, we got a negotiator. You won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives a there. A red door at a house near the port. Might have okay. no lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. There you go. Enjoy your vial. Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. <laughs> hey, listen, if it works, it works. So we're just going to go find this house where the kid leaves the boots at and hopefully we can stake it out and find Datlaf. I didn't realize that the kid like took the boots as well though. That's some unusual, isn't it? Like, the visions we saw and from what I understand of a boot black, they always, ta they always do the job. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they always do the job with the shoes on the foot. Eh, it's fine. Right. Toy shop. A lot of ravens around as well, which is curious. That's uh, Won't budge. probably a sign. Break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Deck laugh, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. I suppose that would that would work, yeah. Fair enough. Nice. Ever considered becoming a burglar? A skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. <laughs> <laughs> I like Regis, he's, uh, he, he's amusing. So how witty he is as well. Well, this is creepy, is it not? Very creepy, in fact. He here. Sense him. No, he's not here. But he was here recently. His scent is still strong. Let's look okay. around. 
might find something of uh, use to us, I guess. Eviction notice. Oh, that, that's an interesting one. Eviction notice. Due to the non-payment of rent for the premises used for shopkeeping purposes, the administrative court of Buckley orders the tenant Ulrich de Samp to vacate the premises within seven days. Not complying with this eviction notice shall cause a custodial sentence to be imposed on the debtor. The length of the sentence shall be determined by the debtor's court. Bailiff Victor Le Maire. So the, so the old owner of this shop got evicted. Okay, on that note, guys, we are going to end this episode here. Next episode, we should continue um, exploring this toy shop and see if we can find anything which can lead us to where Detlaf is right now. Or we can simply stake the place out, potentially. Although, if Detlaf is as smart and has senses like uh, Regis does, then he might know we've been in here. But uh, let's hopefully we can let's ho let's hope we can figure something out. On that note, on, on that note, though, guys, we shall end this episode. I'll catch you in the next episode of The Witcher Three. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.